Tonight, for the first time, we are now seeing what led up to a tragic shooting outside a sporting goods store in June. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Wright. I'm Monique Minglava. And now we do really need to warn you, some may find it disturbing. That shooting left a 17-year-old dead outside a big five sporting goods store in Renton. The suspected shooter, a retired Navy veteran and off-duty security guard who is pleading not guilty, claiming this was self-defense. Kara Sevens, Jake Chapman is outside the store right now with a breakdown of this video. And again, Jake, this video is not easy to watch. It really isn't, Monique, especially when you see the moments when this off-duty security guard pulls out his weapon and then fires at the teen over half a dozen times, killing him here almost instantly. Now, we're not going to show you those exact moments, but we're going to show you everything that led up to it and what happened after. If you look at your screen right here, you can see this angle from outside the Big Five Sporting Goods store where 51-year-old Aaron Myers confronts the three teenagers. That's when you see one of the teens laying down a gun on the pavement, which it later came out that the teens were returning airsoft guns to the store. Myers feared for his and other safety. The parties get into a fight. And then video from the martial arts school and gym next door shows the moments where Myers shot 17-year-old Hazra Ali Ranadi at least seven times. Rahani died at the scene. We caught up with the Council of, um, on American Islamic Relations about the case. A spokesperson tells us this video tells this whole story as Rahani's family and loved ones continue to fight for justice. We don't know what the motivations were for this murder. Um, I think it's just really important to keep it in the public conversation and bring the killer to justice. Myers has been charged with murder and assault, and when we last checked, he is currently on electric home monitoring. We did reach out to see if Myers would share his side of the story, but we haven't heard back. But still, this entire situation, Monique and Aaron, weighs heavy on many businesses inside the shopping complex. Tonight at 11, hear from a business owner whose camera captured the entire thing and his thoughts about this tragedy. Live in Renton, Jake Chapman, Kyra 7 News.